Darwin's theory raises three big questions for people of faith. Question number one is, was the history of life actually directed by God or not? Does God actually know how the history of evolution is going to turn out or not? Traditional monotheism says yes, God knew exactly what was going to happen and directed it. Modern Darwinian theory says the exact opposite. Modern Darwinian theory isn't just a theory that things changed over time, it's that things changed over time in an undirected process. That they were not directed and that the results could turn out completely differently if you rewound the tape of life and played it again, if life was taken on a videotape, that things would turn out completely differently. Instead of human beings, you could get big brain dinosaurs or thinking clams, as some theistic evolutionists say. Well, that's pretty different than the traditional Christian or Jewish claim that God actually directed the history of life. Question number two. Uh, raised by Darwin's theory for traditional uh, people of faith, especially from the Judeo-Christian tradition, is were human beings created morally good? Again, that's the standard Jewish and Christian claim that God created human beings originally morally good and then they freely rejected him and that's sort of how human beings were spoiled. They spoiled themselves, in the words of C.S. Lewis. But according to modern Darwinism, there never were any good human beings to begin with. In fact, human beings originally were created, they weren't created, but they were developed evil and selfish because selfishness, as theistic evolutionist Carl Guyberson says, drove the evolutionary process. And so human beings were evil and morally uh, really uh, not good from the very beginning. Again, that's completely the opposite of what the traditional Judeo-Christian tradition has claimed. The third big question raised by Darwin's theory is whether there's any evidence of design in nature. The traditional claim by Jews and Christians for the past few thousand years is that nature provides evidence of God's intentional design, that you can see it. And this was something that Jews proclaimed, something that's in the Bible, something that Jesus in fact talks about in Matthew where he points to the lilies of the field and rainfall and other things is actually telling us something and showing us something about the character of God. But again, uh, modern evolutionary theory actually denies there's any direction to evolution as an undirected process, but even modern theistic evolutionists to sort of try to square their theory with that have to say that if there was direction, it was, it's undetectable and that especially in biology, you can't see it. So you have people like Francis Collins saying, well, maybe God did direct, but if he did direct things, uh, he created it so it looked like a random and undirected process. So in this sort of view, God becomes a great cosmic trickster who tries to hide what he's doing. And so he creates a world that looks random and undirected, but through the subjective eyes of faith, we just have to trust that it was directed, even though it looks random and undirected. Uh, in a strange sort of way, the, these theistic evolutionists who deny that God's design is actually detectable in biology, these theistic evolutionists are even more anti-intelligent design than Darwinian atheists like Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins actually readily concedes that nature looks like it was designed. He says that biology is the study of complicated things that give the appearance of having been designed for a purpose. But he thinks that Darwinian evolution provides a way that you can understand things without having to pay attention to the clear evidence, the way things look as being designed. Well, then you get Francis Collins who actually says, oh, no, 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 biology looks like it's filled with things that are undesigned, that things are the product of you know, a random and undirected process. But we know subjectively through the eyes of faith that they must have been designed because we believe in God. Well, this is kind of interesting. Here you have Richard Dawkins claiming that things look designed but aren't, and theistic evolutionists claiming that things don't look designed but are. And so uh, that, that's a really striking uh, difference. 